Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the field strip procedure for the Ruger LCP Max. So the first step, of course, before working on any firearm is to make sure it is free and clear of all ammunition. So the first step would be to remove the magazine. Now the magazine release is right here, so you'd push down on that. That would release the magazine. Then you would need to open up the slide to get a good look at the chamber. So always make sure you keep your finger out of the trigger well. The Ruger LCP Max uh, will fire with the magazine removed. So go ahead and pull the slide back. See the chamber area is free and clear. So as far as disassembly, this is the disassembly pin right here. Now unlike a lot of pistols where there's uh, some type of a special area, you have to have the slide and all that kind of stuff, uh, in this case, the pin is uh, retained with a little internal spring. So really, you just have to pop that out. And uh, so you use a, a small screwdriver, and uh, you just get it under there. And just uh, be careful not to, to pry too much uh, to damage the finish. Uh, but just lift up slightly, and it, honestly, it'll feel like you're about to break something. That's, that's just normal. And uh, that will release the pin. Then you just remove the pin and the slide will come off the front. So we'll take a look at the frame first. So it, the LCP Max is a hammer fired pistol. This is the hammer right here. When you pull the trigger, it releases the hammer that would come up and strike the firing pin to fire the weapon. Now you wouldn't wanna pull the trigger with the slide removed because that, if the hammer, if there's nothing to hit, it will overextend and it could damage the mechanism. So uh, you could gently release, you know, if you hold down on it. And then you can slowly let it come forward. But there you can see that, the hammer. So we have our hammer here. So when we get the hammer pulled back out of the way. So this little section here is the ejector. Of course, you get a better look at it. It's attached to the lever that also locks the slide back. So the back portion of this right here will lock the slide. The front portion there operates as the ejector. It's kind of hard to see, but... And then that will catch the back of the cartridge case and, and kick the cartridge uh, out of the firearm when it fires. And that's pretty much as far as you would want to uh, strip this down. Uh, you can get access to everything here to clean it out real good. Uh, this is the disconnector right here. So when you would pull the trigger back, when the slide comes back, it pushes down on that, which releases the sear and the trigger from connection, and that would allow it to operate as semi-automatic. Uh, but make sure everything's nice and clean, wipe it all down. So we'll take a look at the slide here. So we have our recoil spring and guide rod. Now it's a nested recoil spring. There's actually two springs, one inside the other. And it is a non-captive uh, setup. So if you lift up on that, uh, just kind of keep a hold of it. And then that would come out. And of course, here you have the, the guide rod and the, the two springs. The barrel itself can then lift up and out. And that's as much as you'd want to disassemble this for cleaning. You have access to everything. Here's the back of the firing pin right there. That's what the hammer goes into this channel, would hit the firing pin, which would then go forward. It is uh, sprung pretty heavily. That hammer has a lot of force, and it would uh, hit the, the firing pin to have it protrude right there out of the chamber face to fire the cartridge. And, uh, but this is as far as you'd want to disassemble this. So yeah, you can clean, have access to everything to clean it all out, wipe all the, the, the channels down and everything, uh, give it a nice, you know, good cleaning, light coating of oil for corrosion prevention and lubrication. Reassembly, uh, I'd simply put the barrel in first, put our springs back together onto the guide rod. They go into this front pocket right here on the front and the back portion of the uh, the uh, protected cap end would go toward the back and would go into the little saddle in the barrel right here. 
and then let it sit in place like that. Just align the rails with the rails on the frame. And pull that back. Once it's pulled back, simply put the pin in. Now there is that, that little spring that's right there. So you just put the pin at sort of an angle to push down on that spring, like so, and then just push it in place. Once it's in place, do a function check, and we're reassembled. <laughs>